Let me give you a brief guide to the use of the web portal for the MX Low Care Locator. We suggest you to use the Google Chrome browser. Now we connect to the URL address mxlocatemobilemax.com and you can see the login page. On the right, you can change the language. Before you log in, you should get a user ID and a password from your distributor or reseller. If you didn't, go to your distributor or reseller for the user ID and a password. Here, let me use a test account for the demo. After you log in, you will be led to a real-time tracking page. But if you are the first time using the web portal, I suggest you to go to the locator management page. This page is for you to set up your locators. On the left, you can see a list of your locators. You can click and choose the one you want to set up. If you want to change the portrait of the locator, you can click on the image and browse to choose the image you want to use. And you can give a nickname and a real name for the locator which may note the person who carries the locator. And for time zone, you should choose the time zone where the locator is. For example, if the locator is in New York, you should choose the Eastern time. For the report, it defines the report period that the locator reports. You can choose 24 hours a day. You can make it stop reporting or you can set a report period for example from 8 in the morning to 22 in the evening. The locator phone number is the SIM card number which is already installed in the locator and then your distributor or reseller should have configured this for you correctly. Otherwise, the locator cannot report properly. Go to your distributor if there is something wrong about this. The tracking mode gives the report frequency of the locator. It defines the locator reports every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or only when warning happens. For the warning option, choose which type of alert you want to receive. For SOS, if the user press the SOS button on the locator, it alerts. For the geofence, we will talk about it later. For the impact of fall, if the locator experiencing a strong impact of fall, it alerts. Detached, if the locator is removed from the wrist, it alerts. It alert, alerts only once unless the configuration was changed. If the locator is running out of battery, it gives alerts ahead of it. You can define the battery level it remains, it should alert. And the warning notice defines how you want to receive the alerts, SMS or email or both. If alert happens, you can see a right 
New alert signal flashing on the upper right of the page. If you want a person other than you to receive the alerts, you can input up to four extra SMS and emails to receive the alerts. Let's go to the Geofence page. You can define up to 10 areas which you might think they are sensitive to you or the person who carries the locator. You can define different shapes for this area. For example, rectangular, circle, or polygon. You can define when you want this area to be active. And also defines the locator issued alerts when entering or exiting the area. And you can give a name to note the, uh, to note the area. If the area you want to define is not on the map range you see, you can click on the location button and input the reference address to find the area. At last, click on submit button to save your geofence configuration. Before we go to MX Beacon page, I think we should go to the Beacon Management page first. On the upper left of this page, you can see green plus, plus button for adding beacons to this account and the red cross button to deleting beacons from this account. To add a beacon to this account, click on the green plus button. Input the beacon ID, which is shown on the beacon, or you can find it on the level of the package box. Input the password, which is 12345 then press next you should also choose if you are the owner of the beacon or it's a reference beacon from the other users only if it's owner beacon you can configure the location of the beacon Input the nickname for this beacon, for example, living room to better differentiate if you have more than one beacons. Click on the beacon from the beacon list. You can set up the location of the beacon either by dragging the cursor or input the address of where you want to put your beacon. Then press location button and submit. Every time you move your beacon, you should reconfigure the location of the beacon. If you want to delete the beacon, just check the ch check and choose the beacon and Click on the red cross button. After you add the beacon to your account, you can combine your beacon with your locators so that the locator will know the beacon. Let's see more detail on the MX Beacon page. If the beacon is new to some locator, click on plus sign to combine this locator and the beacon. Choose the beacon 
will be used as the save beacon or the location beacon for the locator. If it's a save beacon for this locator, the locator will stop reporting when it detects this beacon. The range of this beacon is roughly 30 feet. If it's location beacon for this locator, the locator will report the address config to this beacon when it detects the beacon. You can check and choose the beacon and change the beacon type for this locator and click on Submit. You can also check and choose the beacon and click on minus sign to delete the mapping of this locator and the beacon. After configuring all everything, we can start using the locator. Please power up the locator by pressing the SOS power button. Go outside where you can see the sky for the locator to get the GPS signal first. To see the status of the locator, you should go to the real-time tracking page. Choose the locator you want to check from the locator list on the left. You can see the status of the locator on the map with battery level, speed, address, As I said just now, the locator reports every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or only when alert happens based on your configurations. You can also check the locator to report its current location by click on the current location bar. Now let's go to the history page. On the history page, at first, you can see a calendar with different color background, pink and blue. Other dates with report rec records, otherwise black. If the number is red, it means there are unread alerts on the date, otherwise white. Click and choose the date you want to check. You can see all the report points and trace on the map. Click on bar on the upper left. It will give you the list of the records on that chosen date. Different options will fill out different records. Choosing unread alert, it will give you the records of unread alert in red. You can click read all button to clean all the unread alert at one time. You can also cl click on the export button to output the records to an Excel file. At last, let's go to the member center page. My account page give you account information. You can change your nickname, your cell phone number, and your address here. You can also change your password, change your email, and switch on and off the alert sound on your portal interface. This is a brief in introduction 
to the web portal for the MX Low Care Locator. If you have further questions, you can go to your customer support for help. Thank you.